Welcome to the Cardiovascular Intensive Care Unit in North Kansas City Hospital. We have the most advanced and comprehensive heart care program in the Northland. Our cardiologists and cardiac experts treat a wide range of heart conditions. Your cardiothoracic surgeon has determined that surgery is the best treatment option for your heart condition. We created this video to help you and your family better understand your surgery and what to expect during and after your stay with us. Thank you for trusting North Kansas City Hospital with your heart care. Your heart's main job is to supply blood to the body. To do this, it needs its own blood supply. The vessels that surround the heart, called the coronary arteries, supply that blood. The heart pumps blood into the aorta, the body's largest artery. The blood then travels through the coronary arteries to supply the heart with blood. The coronary arteries are prone to blockage. When a blockage occurs, blood supply is cut off to a section of the heart. As a result, part of the heart can be damaged or destroyed. When this happens, you may experience chest pain, shortness of breath, or a heart attack. Coronary bypass surgery redirects blood flow to the deprived area of the heart, bypassing the blocked artery. To avoid the risk of your body rejecting a foreign tissue, we use your own blood vessels for bypass surgery. During the procedure, the surgeon attaches the veins that run the length of the legs to the aorta and then joins them to the coronary arteries below the blockage. This new supply line bypasses the diseased artery and allows blood to flow back to the deprived area of the heart. Similarly, the surgeon may also attach the artery that supplies the chest wall and the major artery in your forearm to the coronary artery below the block section. You may require more than one bypass, depending on the number of blockages. Valve disease is another issue the surgeon may address during surgery. When a valve is diseased, it may cause a change in blood flow through the heart. This change results in an improper mix of oxygen in the blood and stress on the heart. During surgery, the surgeon can also repair the damaged valve or replace it with an artificial one. On the day of surgery, plan to arrive two hours before your scheduled procedure. Your first stop will be the admitting desk on the third floor of the pavilion. If you are already in the hospital, preparations for surgery will begin once you are settled in your room. Once you are checked in, we will take you to the pre-op area on the 11th floor for initial tests and body hair shaving if necessary. Before you go into the operating room, the nurse will start an IV and give you some medication to help you relax. In the operating room, we will place additional IVs that help us monitor your heart and blood pressure. During this time, we ask your family members to stay in the waiting area. After we finish these preparations, we invite your family back to see you. The operating room is extremely cold. The low temperature keeps our equipment working properly. The area is full of activity, so it may be noisy, and the lights are very bright. The anesthesiologist will give you anesthesia, and your surgery will begin. The amount of time required for your surgery depends on the type of surgery you are having. Family members can make themselves comfortable in the waiting room. We encourage your guests to bring a light jacket or sweater. If your family leaves the waiting area while you are in surgery, it is important for someone to provide your nurse with a contact number so they can reach your family if the need arises. While they wait, your family should review the open heart surgery packet. It provides detailed information about what everyone can expect while you are here recovering and expectations for your post-surgery care. After your surgery, we will move you to our Cardiovascular Intensive Care Unit, a special unit for open heart surgery patients. Family members can see you once your condition is stable. Please note it may take up to two hours for you to become stable enough for visitors. A staff member will let your family know as soon as you are ready. Immediately 
shortly after surgery, your skin will be pale and cool to the touch. It may also be slightly blue in color because of the liquid skin protector we applied before your surgery. You will have many tubes and wires connecting you to equipment. You will also have a breathing tube, chest tubes to drain fluid from the surgical area, a heart monitor, pacemaker wires, tubes to empty your stomach and bladder, and IV lines to monitor your heart function and blood pressure, and allow for blood drawing for testing. We will remove your breathing tube as soon as you can breathe on your own. The time varies depending on underlying medical conditions. Most of the tubes and wires will be removed within 24 to 48 hours after surgery. Your nurse will help you get out of bed the first day after surgery. You may be in pain and scared to move too much, but the more you move and walk, the faster you recover. Your heart hugger can relieve some pain issues such as pain experienced while coughing. <laughs> you will also use it to support your chest incision. A respiratory therapist will monitor the oxygen level in your body daily. We will help you discontinue your oxygen before you leave the hospital and show you how to use your incentive spirometer, which helps keep your lungs clear and restore lung capacity. We will work with you to establish daily goals for walking and help you sit up in a chair for meals. Congratulations, you are on the road to recovery. Soon after your surgery, we will move you to our Progressive Care Unit, or PCU, a specialized recovery unit for people who have had open heart surgery. We will continue to watch your heart activity by tracking your heart rhythm, heart rate, and blood pressure. On the PCU, you will be more mobile and your activity level will increase quickly. You will also be more involved in your care and have fewer restrictions. Your family plays a key role in this phase of recovery because they will be involved with decisions about your care. We believe visitors are important to your recovery. However, you also need to rest. You may want to restrict visitors at certain times, and it is your right to do so. After your surgery, you may feel sadder, more tearful, or more withdrawn than usual. These are symptoms of depression, which is normal after major life-changing surgery. These feelings are usually temporary, Talk with a family member or your nurse or doctor about your feelings. Treatment is available for this short-lived condition. Some pain after surgery is to be expected. Our goal is to keep your pain at a level acceptable to you and that allows you to meet your activity goals. We encourage you to request medication as needed so you can avoid unnecessary pain. During this phase, you will meet many healthcare professionals who will work with your doctors and nurses to create a plan of care that meets your particular recovery needs. You may not always be hungry, especially if you feel nauseous, but eating is an important part of the recovery process because it provides needed energy. Some medications can help relieve nausea, so let your nurse know if that is what's keeping you from eating. Your diet will progress from clear fluids to solid foods that are low in cholesterol and salt. We closely watch your carbohydrates to help you control your blood sugar level. A dietitian will talk with you about the importance of following a low sodium and low cholesterol diet when you return home. A cardiac rehabilitation specialist will evaluate your needs and create a rehab program for you to start in the hospital. This expert works with our outpatient cardiac rehab team to ensure you continue the program shortly after you return home. A case manager or social worker follows your care until you leave the hospital. This person works with you and your family to evaluate how to help you make a smooth transition home. Your caregiver should be a part of these discussions to better understand what you will need after you leave. Before you leave, we will review your prescription medications with you to make sure you understand their purpose and when to take them. Be sure to tell us about any medicines or supplements you normally take at home. We will also give you directions for your expected activity level and tips for following your normal daily routine. Again, it is important for your caregiver to understand these instructions to help you. Leaving the hospital is a major step in your recovery you will be discharged to the most appropriate place depending on your needs. 
Most patients return to their own home or to the home of someone who can help care for them. Some patients temporarily move to our rehabilitation unit or to an outside rehabilitation or skilled nursing facility. If your doctor thinks you need additional medical care, home health care may be an option. Soon after you leave the hospital, you will probably begin a cardiac rehabilitation program. This program helps you move from low to moderate activity while developing lifelong healthy habits. In addition to enhancing your physical health, cardiac rehab also positively affects your emotional and mental health. Most patients attend cardiac rehab three times a week for about three months. You can continue to lead a full life after open heart surgery when you commit to taking the right steps. Lifestyle changes such as eating healthy, exercising more, and not smoking can improve quality of life and prevent your heart condition from getting worse. Again, thank you for trusting North Kansas City Hospital with your heart care.